Okay, so uh, let's have a look at um, another coin. So Seer coin, one of my favourite coins out there at the moment. Um, made me quite a bit of profit already since October time. So I could talk about it all day. Um, shut up Facebook, close that quickly. Uh, so Seer coin is basically like the Dropbox um, of the decentralised world. Um, that's it in a nutshell. So from a trading point of view, what we can see here live on Bittrex at the moment, um, over the last couple of days, it's been going between, um, so we have a low here of 2.18 um, to this morning, and again, 2.18, 2.20, um, about two days ago. And then a high, okay, so it's been around two, between 2.40 and 2.45, um, fairly frequently so I if we were actually looking for a 24-hour day trade um, this probably wouldn't be fluctuating quick enough but if you're willing to wait um, 48 uh, to 72 hours so two three days um, for trades to go through this has enough volume um, for those tra trades to be accepted it does go up and down as well at the same time so it's a win-win really um, you, you won't be waiting around for long um, for higher orders to be um, to be successful. Um, another thing I've added in here as well is exponential moving averages, um, 13 day and 30 day. Um, I've just noticed that I hope you guys can actually see my cursor as well. I haven't quite tested that part yet, but fingers crossed this is working, you can see it. Um, so we've got the blue um, on the 13 day coming down and the orange slash yellow um, just coming over the top as well. Um, I usually buy when blue is below orange um, it's just always um, I think I saw cryptographic um, youtuber uh, mentioned it as well he had got it off Trevon James um, thankfully didn't listen to the BitConnect stuff that he was spouting um, that's for another time but it's always been useful just as another added peace of mind and um, we can also see down here on the MACD that the the volumes are changing um, it's going above the zero line at the moment um, and we can see that the the blue down the bottom, the blue line, it has crossed over the orange line. Now these colours don't correspond to the same as above. Should probably make that a bit different to uh, to stop any confusion. Um, but we can see that there seems to be a, an upward shift um, in volume, um, which then obviously boosts pricing. So I would say buying buying Seer coin at around. Um, 220 satoshis um, is potentially a good buy for the next couple of days fingers crossed it all comes off and we, you know, we all make profit from this um, on to the next one neo everyone's favorite and now it's dropping down i think it's around about 110 dollars again if it goes anywhere below 100 dollars, just buy as much as you can stick it into the neon wallet which is a dedicated wallet for neo and Every month you'll receive gas, which I think is around fifteen to twenty dollars um, per coin for gas, but it's free. It's essentially free money for you holding gas in a neon wallet. Um, what more could you want for a better passive income there? Um, so we can see Neo here. We can see a, um, a support line around um, 0 0.0111 um, or one one two, just to round up. Um, and then it's hitting a bit of a resistance at, say, 0 0.0115. Um, so you've got quite a range there um, for some potential trades to be happening. Again, this is over two or three days. This isn't just let's go make a thousand bucks in a day. Um, you know, so steady, steady gains that we're wanting. Um, so that's potentially another one to be looking at there. Um, hopefully you're understanding what I'm referring to around resistance and support. I believe I have written on it in uh, another post. So if you just search my um, Facebook name, Jake Primus Row, in the group, you'll see a load of other um, gumph that I've posted over the six months or so that I've been in the group. Um, and then I mentioned OK Cash earlier, um, so I'll just have a quick scan on it. It does seem to fluctuate quite a bit. So if we look over the last four or five days um, you can see a low um, down at 220 satoshis or 2200 satoshis and then a high of around 2900 and 
ranges anywhere in between as well. So as you can see, it's going back down to that 2200 zone now. So it might be worth putting some money in there. Obviously, keep it all spread amongst loads and uh, diversify as much as possible. But again, we can see the volume shift in a bit um, on the MACD um, with, with the lines um, crossing, which again, gives a good indication that volumes may be changing and it's a good point to buy. Um, again, fingers crossed those, those things happen. So Natasha, Scott, um, Paul, um, I hope you guys have found those useful and everyone else in the group as well. Um, any questions on there, anything you're clarifying, just, just give me a shout. Um, I am doing more of these videos because I need to improve on recording and being more confident on here um, so we can get these uh, these research from the coins done as well. Um, so give me a shout if you've got any questions and uh, let me know how useful you find it. Cheers, guys.